What is going on guys? I'm back and this time I'm here to show you how to do the mailer campaigns, direct mail campaigns through command. This has been uh, requested by a couple of agents and this is a really effective tool if you want to get out postcards. You no longer have to go through third parties to and pay whatever fees they might charge in order to get your direct mailers out. So to start, we're going to go back up here to create a new campaign. And this time it's going to be direct mail. Here you're going to decide what it is you want to name the campaign so you can keep track of the different campaigns that you might start. I chose this uh, fancy listing here in Alpine, New Jersey to go with. So we're going to name it by, by the address. So we're just going to call it Six Autumn Terrace in Alpine. Do that. And then we're going to say Advertise Listing. Default templates. Usually, you can upload your own templates if you want, if you have your own designs you want to put in. But uh, they provide, I think, four or five, maybe six default templates in different sizes to choose from and different formats as well. So we're going to set this campaign up. We're going to drop the address in here. And here you're going to go all listings. So you'll see six autumn terrace. And there it is. And it automatically populated the price. Let's see how many, sometimes you're going to have to go in and put in some of the information. It says six bedrooms, seven and a half bathrooms. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven and a half bath. And down here, you're going to tweak the uh, text a little. It only lets you use 575 characters. This text pulled directly from the MLS right here, the property remarks. So we're gonna, you can just go through and decide what you wanna keep, what you wanna get rid of. It's really up to you how you wanna format it. This description is gonna print on the back of the card. So you're gonna wanna make sure it looks real nice and it's you know spaced out properly because that will give your clients a better overview of everything that is, low, it is included with the property that you're promoting. So we'll just correct some of this. Uh, let's see. We'll, do that and let's get rid of go from here down and see if that brings us underneath nope so we'll get rid of this too is that hopefully that'll bring us underneath yep now we're underneath the uh, character limit so when you're ready you're gonna hit save and you're gonna scroll back up and property listings this part's tricky because it requires a photo that's 1200 by 1800 pixels or 300 dots per inch so it requires a very High resolution photo, and that's because it's going to show on the front of the postcard, and you really want that photo to be uh, pristine. So none of these, a lot of the photos that show up in the MLS are not a high enough resolution to really show up good on a postcard. So you're going to want to replace that photo, and you can do that by uploading an image directly from your computer. Now the only thing when doing that is you might have to actually take a photo or go about getting the high resolution photo on your own. So you can upload it though. I have a, just a stock photo I found online that is a high resolution photo. I'm gonna use that in the meantime. So we can see that it's not the property, but it's a high enough resolution that it does fit the criteria. And when you're ready, you're gonna hit save. Then you're gonna put in your agent information. You can drop your photo in here, your first name, last name. So I'll just drop my info in here real quick and pretend that I'm the agent and my email. And I'll just leave that phone number, it's fine. So that is the agent info. And then the market center, you're gonna drop in the, uh, the logo. It's already here, I'm just, gonna I'm just gonna leave whatever's, oh actually I need to put like a real one because it actually verifies the address. So we'll do uh, KW Maplewood, and pretend that's our listing, uh, 181. And that's in New Jersey. And I don't know the zip code here. <clears throat> I'll just try whatever. Let's see if it pump comes up on its own. Let's see, New Jersey. It will say to verify, so okay, so I pulled up the right address. So we got the address, and that's the market center. And then you're gonna go, you can target it now. You can target it to a local area around the address that you're promoting 
or you can target your database. And with targeting your database, you can actually decide which contacts within command. I have some of my own like dummy contacts here that I created just to use as test contacts for myself. But you can actually go into your command contacts and this is where contacts comes into play. It's extremely important to update your database because then you can just send these, lit these flyers directly to your contacts from your database. So just for the way we're doing this now, I'm gonna hit local targeting. And then down here, you can decide the budget. So you can decide how many postcards you wanna send and it's gonna be first class, 59 cents, a postcard for 200, so it comes out to about, a, it comes out to $118 for 200 first class postcards. So we're gonna save. And then when you're finished with that, you're gonna decide the template you want. So you can do all these different sizes and you can preview them as well. So you can hit preview postcard. So that's what the front of that one looks like and that's what the back looks like. It has all the information here, the address, everything. And then if you wanted to choose, let's try, we'll just do this one here. You can preview this one. You can choose, you can preview them all and choose whichever one you want. And this is the photo that you, this will be the photo of your property, the high resolution photo. And again, the back of the postcard. And so let's pretend that we want to use that one. And then you can do a QR tracking code, which is, this is a really, really cool tool. You can add a QR code to your postcard. And when they scan it, it takes them to the page where their contact information is captured and tracked back to this campaign. So this is where you can grab people's contact info when, from the postcard. And then you can assign a landing page. So you can actually go in here and create a landing page in command and then link that landing page to here. So when they scan this QR code on their phone, it's gonna bring the landing page up and it's gonna show them the landing page that you created for that listing. And then it will also capture their data so you can actually see them in your command and they come in as a contact. So once that's finished, then we're gonna to go to configure targeting. Are you sure you wanna create? Yes. And then this is the tool that gives you the ability to go in and see where your postcards are gonna go. So you can select property type, you can do single family, multifamily, so you can just do all just for the sake of creating this campaign. And then you can actually target, you know, up, it says here up to 5,000 5, addresses. And that's probably gonna take a while. So we're gonna drop this back down. So as you can see, it's targeting quite a few. You can actually target, right here it says 878 addresses, and that would be the cost. And you can do standard mail, first class mail, and again, you can tweak this however you'd like. And then hit next. And then here's the final breakdown before you go ahead and complete your mailing campaign through command. You can see here all the postcards, and then you make your payment, and this gives you the breakdown, same day processing, USPS distribution, and estimated delivery. And up here you will see a preview. This is a preview of what your postcards will look like. You can view it in a larger view if you'd like as well. So you can see these postcards are very clear and pristine. And once, you're, once you like what you see, you hit make a payment and you complete the transaction and then your mailer direct mail campaign will be complete. So this is how you go again, this is how you go into campaigns and create a direct mail campaign. If you guys have any more questions, hit please feel free to reach out, give me a call or email me and I will be more than happy to assist you. Thanks for watching guys.